I'm Rep, and I work for the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. And uh, my, I'm a biologist by training. My expertise is endangered species. And why am I here? As a, as a manager in the Everglades Restoration Program, uh, Everglades Restoration is all about water. We have our own dikes and our own canals, and, and water is what we're managing. And we're, we're managing it for the natural system. We're managing it for the health and safety of people as well. So uh, the similarities are, are obvious. And I'm not going to reiterate what everyone talked about in terms of the uh, environmental uh, comparisons and contrasts that we have. But what hasn't been mentioned that really struck me is, is the attitude about climate change and, and the acceptance of climate change and the acceptance of sea level rise and the, uh, the consideration of those factors in the design and, and the construction of, of your features in the management of water. And I think in the United States, we're, we're behind you on that. And so that's very exciting. And uh, the, 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 there's, I didn't see a lot of divergence of opinion. It's just an accepted fact, and we're going to need to deal with it. We may not know precisely what it's going to be, but we're even incorporating that consideration. So that, to me, was a, was a take-home message. Um, uh, and in addition, the, the other take-home message and the difference that I see that we can learn from is your planning horizon and how far out you plan. And we, I think we tend to be short-sighted in our planning, mm -hmm. whereas the Dutch uh, tend to, to plan on a, on a long horizon and really have a, a visualization of what the future can be and might be and will be. And uh, so I think we're a little behind you on all of that. So those are my two take-home messages. And it's been a wonderful experience, and I was so pleased to meet everybody that, that I've met over the last week. So thank you for the opportunity. Yeah.